All right, big breaking news coming in. Sudha Murthy has been nominated for Rajya Sabha. Prime Minister Modi posts, I'm delighted that the President of India has nominated Sudha Murthy Ji to the Rajya Sabha. Sudha's contributions to diverse fields, including social work, philanthropy, education, has been immense and inspiring. Her presence in the Rajya Sabha is a powerful testament to our Nari Shakti, exemplifying the strength and potential of women in shaping our nation's destiny. Wishing her a fruitful parliamentary tenure. Follow me, Saha Janiyat, for more on that. Follow me, uh, a real unexpected news that's coming before. Sudha Murthy nominated to the Rajya Sabha from where? Give us the details. Well, uh, the president has nominated uh, Mrs. Sudha Murthy to uh, the Rajya Sabha. She, in fact, is one of the nominated members now as far as Rajya Sabha is uh, concerned. So this is uh, obviously a significant de decision. This comes off, uh, obviously on the recommendation of the center that the president has nominated. The president, as you know, has the, the right to nominate certain members of the Rajya Sabha. So Sudha Murthy will be one of those. This, of course, comes uh, as an announcement on International Women's Day. Sudha Murthy, of course, uh, uh, you know, she is known in the fields of education, in the fields of philanthropy. Uh, she is, of course, uh, uh, Narayan Murthy's uh, wife, uh, uh, you know, mother to, of course, Akshata Murthy, who is uh, the wife of uh, the UK Prime Minister. So um, she, of course, uh, in her own right, has built her own career. She has worked uh, alongside Narayan Murthy, of course, who was building emphasis. And, you know, she's come uh, on recent occasions, the media interactions. She's spoken with India today as well, very extensively about that journey uh, towards, of course, uh, building emphasis where she supported Narayan Murthy. And then, of course, uh, the fact that, you know, she built her own, um, you know, philanthropy arm as well and uh, worked in the fields of uh, education. These are areas of uh, interest for her. And she has been extremely uh, active in that field as well. And she has, of course... Um, you know, spoken uh, about it extensively as well on various occasions. Very recently, uh, in fact, uh, uh, you know, if I remember correctly, it was the uh, winter session of the parliament, uh, uh, which was December 2023, that we'd seen Sudha Murthy uh, come to the parliament. Uh, you know, we, a uh, few media persons, had, the mo had a moment to interact with her as well. She, of course, uh, was there to interact uh, and sort of just look around the new uh, parliament uh, building as well. Several such uh, visitors come on various days. Some of them, of course, um, known personalities that we happen to spot. Sudha Murthy was one of those as well uh, but clearly it uh, you know it was evident uh, uh, how she of course um you know, attracted a lot of people, both young and old, uh, towards her. She's a, a personality in herself and immediately, you know, many people were there who wanted to take pictures with her as uh, well. So, uh, mm. clearly, this is uh, going to be an interesting, um, you know, uh, uh, an uh, increment as far as the uh, Rajya Sabha is concerned, the upper house, uh, which is the House of Elders as well uh, as it's known and we hope oh, obviously uh, that, you know, it will add uh, to the sort of uh, gravitas uh, in uh, discussions in the Rajya Sabha in the upper house of parliament when it comes to subjects uh, like education that are extremely close uh, to Mrs. Uh, Sudhamuti's heart and something that she, of course, uh, has worked extensively in a field. Wow, okay. So, uh, Sudha Murthy has been nominated by the President. Uh, she's been welcomed by the Prime Minister, has largely stood up for Indian culture, its ethnicity, authenticity. Uh, and, and here she makes it to the Rajya Sabha. It was certainly unexpected, but was this uh, decision brewing uh, in the sidelines? Do we know if this was talked about at all or it's come as a complete surprise? Uh, follow me. Well, yes, it's uh, come as a surprise, uh, definitely, you know, uh, we had not heard uh, the buzz around uh, Mrs. Sudha Murthy being nominated uh, to the Rajya Sabha, but uh, as is known with this government, it does keep everything under wraps, uh, you know, for a very, very long time, as was the case with recent announcements, for instance, with the Bharat Ratnas uh, that they announced for uh, late Prime Minister P. V. Narasimha Rao or for, um, you know, Jain Chaudhary's uh, grandfather uh, in this uh, case, Chaudhary Charan Singh, and of course, uh, Karpuri Thakur as well. So, uh, some these announcements obviously come uh, you know uh, as a surprise but yes uh, this also has come as a surprise but like I said the, uh, you know the announcement comes on a day which is uh, International Women's Day and uh, you know as far as the women's empowerment is concerned Mrs. Sudha Murthy has been active in that field and uh, it is only befitting that uh, someone who has of course uh, worked in that field um, you know and related fields has been nominated by the president to the Rajya Sabha. All right. So, so how does this work, uh, Palami? If I could ask you a technical question, of course, to fill myself in uh, on the details as well. Uh, when you are nominated by the president, you're not you're apolitical. Is there any align an alignment that Sudha Murthy should have to a political party? Uh, what process is this? Break it down for us. 
No, uh, there, there is no alignment as, as such to any political party. You're not a political person. You're chosen because you, the House of uh, the Elders or the Upper House of Parliament uh, is known to have those who come from, of course, there are uh, those who are elected by their parties, selected by their parties, and then, of course, uh, uh, go to the Rajya Sabha in case uh, they don't face uh, competition. Uh, some of them, like in the recent elections uh, that you saw, Rajya Sabha, 56 uh, members have been elected to the Rajya Sabha. Uh, a bunch of them were elected unopposed, but then on 15 of those seats, you saw a contest in Karnataka, in Himachal uh, Pradesh, uh, uh, and you know, states like that, in Uttar Pradesh, for instance, you did see uh, a contest that happened over there. That aside, there are nominated members. They come from various fields. They are. Uh, they can be from any creative field. They can be from the field of medicine. They can be from the field of education. Uh, you know, so there are several such nominated members. For instance, just to give an example, Mary Kong, uh, you know, mm. a sportswoman, someone who's been a pioneer. Uh, in uh, the field of uh, sports, uh, as far as women go, uh, she was nominated uh, to uh, the Rajya Sabha. So she's a nominated member of uh, the Rajya Sabha. So Sudha Murthy, of course, uh, again, like I said, nominated members are pioneers in their field. Uh, you know, they bring something to the table as far as, you know, their field is concerned, be it education, be it research, medicine, sports, films, that sort of, uh, you know, they bring that level of uh, discourse and gravitas to the upper house of parliament and that is what Sudhamurti will be doing. All right.